Hello everyone, welcome to your next tutorial on how to build a robot application with Kek PHP. In the past tutorial, we allowed this URL and certain routes in our controller and in this tutorial we'll see how we can build a proper login uh, function. So if we click on this, it takes us to login. And uh, as you can see in the controller right here, uh, this is still uh, spewing errors, we'll fix this. But as you can see in the controller right here, we don't have... Um, we have not really written a login function so if we get down to login as you can see we've not written anything in the login so let's quickly write um, something in the login and uh, the uh, comment should be uh, log a user in now first of all it has to check whether this the this function is receiving a post request all right remember in our form it's a post request so we're going to check here whether this function is receiving a post request so what we will do is we're going to write an if statement and say if this request if the request that is coming in a uh, small letter sorry if the request is post so if it's a post request then we are going to try to see if this user has registered with us before which is uh, we try to authenticate the user so we can say uh, a user variable is equal to uh, this remember our auth component and it has a method called identify the identifier tries to go to the database and check whether this user exists and uh, we don't know the result but we can now check if the if it was successful if we've successfully found this user we're going to save um, this guy the, the whole um, user details in the auth session so it's like magic we're going to say uh, this if this guy uh, just save the contents of this guy in uh, in the auth session so that's what we just did here so we've logged this user in the next thing we're going to do is to redirect this user which page does the user redirect to whenever they log in um, one page they can redirect to is the um, list of users page i know later on we will change the page so we can say return uh redirect i will say this redirect and um we're going to redirect to something called uh, controllers controller we're going to redirect to is the user controller users controller and uh, we're going to redirect to a particular method in the user controller called um, index uh, so that the user will see list of other users and um, where are we so we can say action the action is index all right so here we are redirecting to index and you know in a, if you're a programmer you will know that once this function runs to this point and hits a return it abandons every other thing at the bottom of the function uh, so what we're going to do is right here but if this particular if statement doesn't run the function will reach this place and jump to this bottom so here we're going to set flash so we can say this um, flash remember this guy um, this is a helper uh, a component with that we set here we flash it it is enabled by default flash is what displays messages and we set auth to so we're going to there's request handler that handles all our requests so right here in our code we're going, just going to say flash error and uh, we're going to display the error uh, what message do we display to the user we're going to say sorry the login wasn't successful so we're going to say sorry the login was not oh was not successful all right but um as i mean you're using a system uh, you're building a robust system that can be translated into many languages kick php uses something like this so that uh, during translation it's um, easy to find it and translate so we're just going to put an extra um underscore that is two underscores one two and we're going to put this um bracket inside every text in our code so we're going to close it with this bracket so um, every text you want to pass in your code you, you if you do it like this by the time you're converting this from english to french for instance uh, kick php knows exactly um what to convert so we're going to say sorry comma all right this is all our login function that we ever need to write in this life and um, the other thing we have to do is to pass this user um into to view because uh if you look at the login page the login page is complaining of uh, not knowing the user variable and if we look at the code here where we have a we don't have a login page let's go open it so we head back to src templates we have um users 
and then we have login. So this login page is complaining of not having uh, not uh, having this guy defined and in our code we have already defined it but we need to pass it to the view. If you look down, so right here we're going to pass it, we'll just say uh, this set, that's how you pass uh, variables to the view and uh, of course compact, you can pass multiple variables to the view. And, uh, but we're just going to pass only one for now. We're going to pass users, which is this variable we just defined here. We're passing, okay, we'll call it user. So just to be sure that that's the same name that we're referring to it, okay, user. So we call it user and um, we're just passing it to the view with this. Then we need to um, serialize it. Um, I'm having a little issue with my mouse scrolling. Okay, so we need to um, serialize it. We we'll just say um, this um, set. Then uh, we serialize, serialize, and uh, right there we are serializing using. And there we have it. So if we come back and refresh, we should not have any further errors. So we refresh and. It's refreshing as you can see right here and surprisingly uh, we still have an error so let me try and uh, resolve it all right um we, we don't really need this guy because um if we just head to our uh, login and uh, we're going to remove it for login we don't really need it and um, if we get back to our code we'll see that we are good to go so this basically um this basically handles our login. Then the other thing we can do is to actually tell the person, the user, with that it's the user is logged in. So we are going to um, flash a message. We can close call flash, and um, we'll say success. Um, and uh, we're just going to throw the message to the user. And of course, we can use the other pattern we used, where we just use double underscore, and um, we put the message inside the brackets and say um, uh, login successful okay and i will throw this message um, as we are redirecting so that it will show in the next page when the user redirects and then what else we want to check is to check if this user is already um signed in so the user if the user is already signed in then uh, there's no point trying to sign the user in again so we will uh, find a way to um I'll put it here so we will put another if statement and say um this way so we carry everything else and put everything that's processing the sign in we'll just put it inside it and if statement of course i'll move this guy to the right a little so that uh, the code will be clean and um, we're basically going to say if this user is already logged in we can say if this auth has a key called um, user id so which means this user is already logged in uh, what we're going to say if this user is already logged in then we're going to do something else if the user is not already logged in then we try and log the user in so um, we're not doing this right we're going to check the post first so we're going to check this guy first so what I'm basically trying to do is to check whether this user is logged in first and uh, to do that we have to check that this uh, user has received this method has received a post request so if it has received a post request first of all check if user is logged in so uh, check if user is logged in already if user is logged in already we're going to flash a message a warning message and then we're going to redirect the user to the home page so we'll flash a warning message or oh. we'll flash a warning telling the user you are already logged in you are already logged in so we're going to redirect the user to uh, the home page or the same page let's just redirect them to the index page of course so this takes the user to the index page but if the user is not logged in else if the user is not already logged in in attempt to log the user in so that's what happens here so if the user is not already logged in we attempt to log the user in okay so we just uh, refactor this code to make it look um cooler and neater so this method receives a 
post request checks if the user is already logged in if not then it tries to log the user in and as simple as that then if it fails in if it fails in logging the user in then it throws a, an error message if it succeeds it throws a success message and there we are and uh, we don't need to pass this to the view because this is not accessible we wanted to pass this to the view uh, but it's not accessible from there so we'll just delete it we don't need to pass any variable to the view all right so there we are and uh, we are good to go and uh, if we go and refresh we'll try to log in we'll refresh this page our error should disappear gracefully and then we can try and log in uh, one of the things let's check one of the um, accounts that we have that uh, we has a password that is encrypted the account should be um, Trump Hillary if we click on a browse we should have a Trump Hillary uh, Trump Hillary account with proper encrypted password if we try any of this it won't work because CakePH will try to encrypt it before um, checking the database so we're going to use Trump Hillary email and the password the password is password to log in so we get back to our application we we'll use Trump Hillary Trump Hillary at gmail.com then the password is going to be um, password and then we hit on submit and we wait like check-ins and oh we have an error so we'll try and fix this of course we accidentally skipped something in the search user we're supposed to pass a parameter as you can see it's telling us a user's controller on like 8 on line 87 the kick PHP tells you exactly where you made a mistake so on line 87 so we're going to head back to our code and uh, look for line 87 we're supposed to pass this parameter this guy that we just identified we're supposed to pass this guy into uh, this session so if we go back and refresh um, we'll continue let's see what happens and there we are we are logged in see login successful and uh, that's how to log in in your cake uh, app in the next tutorial we'll rearrange this and make it look cool and make the menu look cool then of course we can put the login and logout buttons here all right thank you very much see you in the next video tutorial as we continue in this journey of discovering cake php don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel on youtube